Now, here's a curious historical fact. Although ancient Egyptian civilization existed for thousands of years, coins only started being struck by the very last two native pharaohs around 360 BC, and they were not even made for internal use, but for the payment of Greek mercenaries. So, let's say you, like many people, fascinated by ancient Egypt and would like to have a coin from this amazing place. Well, in this case, we have to take a look at the Ptolemies. The Ptolemies were the Greek dynasty established by Ptolemy I, one of Alexander's successors. Ptolemy I was the first to establish a formal, permanent mint in Alexandria and introduce coinage to the Egyptian economy at large. So let's have a look at this little tetradrachma here, struck under Ptolemy IX. Most coins struck by the Ptolemies follow a pretty standardized design, changing just their style as the centuries go by. This particular example was struck in the year 114 BC. At slightly over 14 grams per tetradrachma, the monetary standard used on Egyptian coins was slightly lighter than the Greek Attic standard, where a tet would weigh typically a slightly over 17 grams. This meant that upon entering Egypt, you would have to change your foreign coins for local coins. The official money changers would get a cut from the value of this swapping, and this would be a very significant source of revenue for the state. On the obverse, we see the bust of Ptolemy I, the founder of the dynasty. Apart from some exceptions, most tetadrachma of Egypt show just the bust of Ptolemy I. And you see, they were quite clever when propagandizing their legitimacy over the Egyptians. The style of this coin is undeniably Greek. It was, after all, a Greek novelty being introduced on Egypt. But at the same time, huge efforts were made to also depict the Ptolemies as pharaohs. In fact, they called themselves pharaohs of Egypt. I'm putting on screen some pictures of stone carvings made shown Ptolemy IX, the one from our coin. And as we can see, they were depicted in the same style as the older pharaohs. On the reverse, we're greeted by the Ptolemaic eagle. Once again, apart from small exceptions, most Egyptian coins will have either one or two eagles on the reverse, in the legends Ptolemaio Basileus, of King Ptolemy. On the fields, we have letters indicating that this coin was struck at the 4th Regno year, so 114 BC. I wonder what the natives thought of this eagle when seeing it for the first time. Would they have imagined this was a Greek interpretation of their own god Horus with his hawk head? In any case, I would say the resemblance between both symbols must have helped the newcomers, giving the coin maybe a little air of familiarity to the locals. So now I want to hear from you collectors. Have you got any coins minted in ancient Egypt? Although the region had a reasonably late start to its numismatic tradition, they definitely picked up the slack quickly and have established a long tradition on coinage. Let us know in the comment sections below. So, happy collecting and see you all soon!